All right. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back, RC model aviation enthusiasts all across the globe. We are back in lovely Arvin, California. We're with Master Modeler Brent Hecht. He is going to fly this uh, Horizon Hobbies E-Flight P-47. This is a neat model that came out a while back. It's been out for a hot minute, but it's a beautiful airplane. It comes with a full uh, assortment of stores. It has the uh, oh, yeah, the rockets. <laughs> it has bombs, right? Yeah, bombs and rockets and a drop tank. A drop tank, yeah. I completely forgot to bring. <laughs> oh, no, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, in with those great clouds. yeah. Not bad at all. This is just a neat model. I think it's one point two meter, and yep. it's uh. So uh -oh. Chris Puckett designed this one. So this is a Chris Puckett, another Chris Puckett. Yeah. Gosh. Almost like he knew what he was doing. Almost like he knew what he was doing. Well, I'll tell you. Um, so a little backstory. Chris Puckett was a prolific designer with Horizon Hobbies for quite a while. Um, and Brent can correct me on this, but uh, these are the ones that I, I remember. I remember the Valiant. He did the, uh, yep. well, I'll tell you. He did the UMX Waco that everyone's raving over. He did the original UMX Waco. He did uh, the Arrow Commander. He did the AT6, I believe, was yep, his. Yep, Texan. The Texan, which, by the way, is probably the best foam Texan on the market, is the Horizon Hobbies E Flight AT6. Absolutely an amazing model. Uh, I just found out that he did this. And uh, what else did he, he did do? The P39 as well. P39? Uh, 1200 P39, yeah. Oh. Okay. Which I, I still wish I could get one of those, but... Uh, I did not know that. Yeah. All right. Time remaining four minutes. So, uh, so Chris is a good, good, uh, good people, and uh, I have the honor to say I've met him on, on many an occasion, actually. Hung out with him at Ceph and met him at the AMA convention years and years, about, about gosh, ten years ago by now. And, uh, well, maybe not ten years ago. And Brent can call him a friend. So that's even more. But Chris Puckett, an amazing guy who's designed a lot of planes that we all know and love. This plane, look at the, look how slow this plane flies. Thank you, uh, AS3X. Thank you, uh, who was the designer? Not Kashavili, but thank you to the designer there at Republic <laughs> Aviation. This, this plane uh, has its lineage as the uh, Seversky P-35. In fact, you can see the design lineage there in the P-35. Um, but, yeah. A very prolific Russian immigrant yeah. designing these aircraft here in America for Republic Aviation. The P-47's always been one of my favorites ever since I was a kid, so. Yeah. It's just a neat airplane. And, you know, the Mustang gets all the love. It but, does. Uh, the P-47, I think, has a lot of good followers, too. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Much like the Corsair gets all the love for the Navy and, yep. the, and the Hellcat and Wildcat kind of get tossed aside, but they did all the work. <laughs> you're, you're, you're right. and we, You're right, my friend. And history is replete with stories like that. You know, so like Brent was saying, you know, the P-1 gets all the admiration and the love and all that, but the P-47 did some really hard work in the trenches, right? Uh, you got the... The Corsair to do its distinctive shape. It got a lot of adulation and whatnot. And it was whereas, a good fighter too. It's yeah, it was a good fighter too. Know, the Hellcat and Wildcat did a lot of work. Oh, that the, the Hellcat uh, has the highest kill rate I think in World War II. Um, and then you look at our, our British brothers and sisters. You look at the <laughs> Spitfire. That's a bad timing right there. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, Steve. The Spitfire is acclaimed as saying, "Oh, it was the victor of uh, the winner of the Battle of Britain," but reality. The, the Hawker Hurricane just really saved England. Let's let's face it. With the with the Spitfires taking on the Messerschmitts, the Hurricanes were able to uh, just just devour the bombers. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can't end on that note. 
One more try here. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop yammering. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> This is just a lovely, lovely airplane. These 1200s really have a, are the perfect kind of mix of like, not too small, but big enough to have some nice detail, and, but small enough where you can just toss them in the car in one piece, not to take them apart. And they fly in small batteries, which are affordable. So it's got some nice details, like the two piece landing gear doors and stuff. I mean, it's got some neat little details. It does. It, you, know? you know what? You're right. Look at that. Yeah. Two piece gear doors got the, you know, they're not real struts, but seconds. they got strut covers that look like they're scale, you know, scale tires and all that. Yeah. Stuff. I like the tires. Look at that. Yeah. It's a, it's a neat little model. I mean, for the price and the size point and everything yeah. else. It's it is. Kind of it is. Good, it's, good I think it's below 400, I think still yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 It's still available. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm hoping. And the performance is really good. I mean, yeah. I was taking it pretty easy. I was doing kind of a scale flight, but you can really rip these things around. So. You sure can. And the you... slow flight, geez, you can't beat that. So. No, not at all. Well, thank you, Brent. Appreciate you, brother, for letting me join you out here at the field today in Arbor, California. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let me catch where you're where you're flying your battery. That way, yeah, people so can see. So this is the 2200, which probably isn't big enough on uh, four cells. Yeah. I think most guys run a uh, 3000, but yeah. uh, you can run a 2200, you just can't use a lot of full throttle. Doesn't yeah. Like it. But I haven't flown on uh, three cells yet. Okay. But I might try it at some point. But yeah, the huge battery bay, obviously. It yeah. Makes it yeah. Nice. It's nice. Yep. And that's a 2200 all the way forward, no extra weight required or anything. So. Okay. All right, because I'm sure Inquirer might yeah. have got to want to know. The CG is like perfect right there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. All right. Well, thank you, brother. Thank Appreciate you. you. Yeah. Um, and again, we are out here in Arvin, California. We're with uh, Team Hecht, Hecht Speed. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Looking forward to all your comments, your thumbs up, and your subscriptions. Take care. Blue skies, all of the gray. Happy landings, everybody. Cheers.